All right. Hello, parents and guardians of uh, Mr. Sam's science and our chemistry and biology class. Um, what I'm going to do for you guys right now is walk you through exactly how your students are going to navigate the web page. Um, just so you guys are clear on that. And um, I will explain to you exactly how the class is going to be laid out. So what we're going to do next is we are going to flip over uh, to what you would see on your computer screen and what your students would see. So that way we can go through and uh, just see what they're doing at home. All right. So in the email that I have sent you, I sent you the link to my website. If you guys do not have it, it is just uh, Lower Merion Science. Uh, it's a Google Sites. And uh, on this website, I will just explain to you how everything is laid out. So if we are on the home page of my website, if you are a student or a parent, you can go through and click on all content for remote learning. This is a Google Doc which lays out all of the codes, all of the links, and everything the students will need up until uh, March 27th, which is when we are supposed to go through and uh, open up school. So uh, all the links to the videos, all of the Nearpod codes are linked in here. Everything that you and your student will need is again in this Google Doc, and I have emailed that to the students. Um, if we go through and we go on to my class announcements and homework page, again, you can see the exact same thing. All the links that you will need, a description of what the students are supposed to be doing per each day, um, all of the projects that are necessary, uh, and all of the codes. Uh, chemistry will be up shortly. Uh, I just have to go through and finish finalizing that and uh, making sure that we can use all the simulations for our next section here. Um, and then if we go down to the calendar here, again, we can see exactly what the students are doing day per day. So everything is going that you are going to need is going to be within this link here. Now, what the students are going to be using for the videos is what they've been using in class. It's a platform called Nearpod. And what they're going to do is they're going to be assigned a code. The code that I sent out in the email today is ETIRQ. And this code ETIRQ will basically send them to this Nearpod platform here. So what they're going to do is type in their name and then it will go through and link one of the videos that I have created. And then as they go through there, they will answer some questions associated with that video. And um, this is, I'm just asking how they feel about remote learning since we're getting set up, they will go through and submit that answer and then they will be set up and good to go. And then I can see what the responses are and make sure that I communicate with them. And we can work through some of the problems together. Okay. so. I've tried to lay out everything as uh, seamlessly as I possibly could. If you guys want me to change anything or you need me to send you uh, an email, I will be sending the students and you email updates on uh, what is due. Um, but if there's something you want me to change or something you need me to fix, just let me know uh, and I will be working through any of those kinks. Um, as a last thing, the deadlines that I've put on the Google Docs, those are not necessarily hard, fast deadlines. I did say, you know, this is when it is due. Uh, in that initial email that I sent you, uh, I would like this stuff done within that, you know, five-ish day period. But again, the name of the game here is flexibility. So uh, if you guys need anything else from me, just let me know. Send me an email and uh, I will get back to you uh, ASAP.